What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test more kitchen gadgets. This time I got something really cool. This right here watermelon slicer like no other. I never seen anything like that. That's gotta be made in 2019. Anyways, let's see what this one does. I got here watermelon and let's open it up and figure out how this works. Cool, it actually comes with one of these water ball maker. We'll put that to the test as well. But there you go, there's a little spinny right here. It's also a slicer, so we're gonna go inside and cut it to here and this is going to make it into cubes. Everything feels like plastic but edges are kind of sharp. Not razor sharp, but as you can see, sharp enough to cut watermelon. First of all, going to cut watermelon in half. By the way guys, I still love this knife I put to the test. This is non-stick knife and I love it. Wow, this is seedless watermelon, very nice. So next, I'm gonna cut it like that. Obviously, I'm not gonna throw that away, I can still eat it, but and now the fun part, what you do is push it to like that. Let's try to, to the middle, see what happens. Wow, it works so well. Look at these little cubes. I love it. You know what, let me try to go a bit deeper. Wow, this is so much fun. I can't believe it actually works. This cubes turn out to be so much better. Let me get a plate. This is just too much fun. Let's go one more time on this side. Not gonna go as deep this time. But look at that. At the end you just tape it off. Boom. How cool is that? Look at these cubes. Then you can just put it in a plate. Awesome. Let me go another one right here. I'm gonna try to slice up the whole watermelon. Just to see how it works, oops. There you go. You know what, once it's already been cut, it's a bit easier. One more time right here. Look how it shoots off. I'm gonna go right here. We don't wanna waste any watermelon. Slice is really fun. Look at that, all these cubes so far, so quick and easy. One more time right here. This is just satisfying. I wish the watermelon was a lot longer so I could just keep going with these cubes. Okay, gonna go one more right here. What a great idea. And one more right here. Boom. Now I need a bigger plate. Look how fast I'm like slicing up the watermelon, amazing. I'll try to go all the way, see if I'm gonna go into any problems. I guess I could go a little bit down too. Let's see what happens. It works. Even going down like that, look at that. That's so awesome. And it actually goes up with the spin. One more time like this. You see how the spinner makes it go up anyways? Awesome. A bit messy, but I'm still learning how to use it. Easy. One more right here. You see? No problem. used up the whole watermelon. You know what, this gadget is just so much fun and it works. Look at all these cubes. And it should have got a bigger plate. I didn't think it was gonna work all the way to the bottom. It's amazing. Definitely a very, very fun gadget to have. For the next kitchen gadget I got here, orange peeler I got in Japan, in Tokyo. Okay, let's see how this works. Is this orange peeler? I think so, let's figure it out. It so opens like this, and there is a quick instruction how to use it. 
Oh, there you go. That's like a little knife. All the way through. And then same way this way. And that way it's easy to peel it piece by piece. As you can see, you cut through it. And that way, you, if you use it with the knife, you might pierce through actual orange. With this little gadget, it's supposed to be easier and you're not going to break up the actual orange. There you go. This one is a little bit harder to peel. It depends on the orange, but as you can see, it has not too much of the problem. Now, I'm going to break the orange in half and let me show you what this gadget do, the other side of the gadget anyways. Then you get a piece of orange and grab the other side of the gadget and cut to like this and that way you can peel it even further depends what kind of oranges you got some will be easier to peel it some will be harder and I'll tell you what it's a lot more delicious to eat orange without that orange peel even on each each grain like that so that way you can just chew on that pretty cool idea isn't it very unique gadget I like it a lot Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's see how this gadget works. You push it through and spin it. And that way you have here little watermelon balls. How cool is that? This actually works really, really good. Wow, this is amazing. Would be so much more fun to eat watermelon balls like that. Especially if you do it for the kids and they don't like watermelon That way maybe they'll eat it more so Because watermelon is pretty good for you For the next gadget I got here scrapper This thing was 10 bucks at the kitchen store Whoa, that's like solid metal Very nice You got right here a mini one and a big one And this is for the stove tops and stuff like that You see if you have melted cheese or even for the pants, looks like. So let's put it to the test, see if it actually works. Okay, as you can see, I have a couple dirty spots right here. Start with the easy one. And the trick of this thing, they say it will not scratch even glass tops. Oh, you know what? Some pieces do work. Let me try to use a big one right here. Oh yeah, big one is actually a bit better. But yeah, some of those stains are really, really bad as you can see. But yeah, if I keep going, it goes away. Honestly, it makes it even shinier as you can see. And you know what? Those things are really hard to clean unless you use heavy, heavy chemicals. I'd say it's nice, but it's not as easy as they say. Ah. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Is it scratches or is it actually clean? Kind of almost like scratches. So the next gadget I got here, all-purpose grater. Let's see how it works. This is how I put it in. You slide it in and then close it. You know what? This is going to be so much easier to clean it and whatever you need to chop up you put it in here you'll tie it with cheese and then you can grate it really easily and if you need a bigger grater you got one of these so let's open it got a piece of cheese let's stick it in there you know what almost too big let me cut it almost in half like this maybe i'll put the smaller piece like this Kind of goes everywhere, maybe hold it to the side like that Because it's kind of flints it, you see it? I mean, it's kind of nice But still, flints it a lot further But yeah, it works, pretty fun Okay, let's see how this one works Oh yeah, the bigger one works even better so very strange grater 
Um, there it's pretty good cheese, but the entrance is so small, you have to cut up your cheese into smaller pieces. So that way it works really good. For the next gadget I got here also at kitchen store, it's only $2.50, a really cheap cloth. But this is the best chemical free, stainless free cleaner. Wet and rinse and wipe. So description is really simple. Just moist it a little bit, rinse it and wipe the stainless steel. Supposed to clean it pretty good, but how good without chemicals? Let's find out. And just to show you one more time how easy it is. Wet and rinse, wipe. And that's what I just did. And it's already getting pretty dry really quickly. Stainless steel refrigerator and as you can see there is a fingerprints. This actually works. Look at that, there is some kind of stuff on it, handle. Whoa, I can't believe this has worked so well without any heavy chemicals. I really like it a lot. There is dust and stuff builds up on the stainless steel. I mean there is a little bit of watermarks as you can see but it's wiping off all those fingerprints really good. I wanna see what it's going to look like when it's dry out. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but this is stainless steel. It's super shiny, I don't see too many streaks, maybe to the corners over there. Just the tiny ones, but this is really shiny. And right here to the corners, maybe a little bit of Residue of water, but for the most part it did really really good For 250 I like this gadget if you didn't wipe it off good enough You will have sticks like that as you can see so you really want to put elbow grease into it And then once you get it really good with the one smooth wipes It'll go away all those uh, Stick maybe with the second time and as you can see after wiping this one a few times the water going away, it's drying out and no more little smirks or anything like that. You see it's going away right there. I can't believe it how well it works. Here and there maybe little dots, but this is awesome. It'll never be perfect even with chemicals. But yeah, chemical free cleaner definitely works for $2.50. I'm amazed. And for the next gadget, I got here soap dispenser and scrubber sponge set. Let's see how it works. You got your soap and put a whole bunch in, maybe even more. And for example here, you grab your sponge, you moist it, and then you press it into the soap lightly. Look at that. It soaps it up really nicely. And then that way you can soap up your plate. Once you run out of soap again, all you have to do instead of grabbing the bottle, you just press it like that and soap it up again. Your dirty plates, dirty dishes, whatever. And also this is a sponge holder. That looks pretty beautiful and also it works really good to soap up your plate. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you next time.